Stop it. Okay. Stop it. Let's go with this, okay? Um, ready to play for real, are you? Um, yeah. I'm always excited to play. Every time I step on that court, you know, especially being a freshman, this is going to be my first opportunity to um, see how good I am in college. And, you know, just ready to get it on, you know, get an excited season. What, what, what was the offseason like for you, John Paul, in, in terms of did you take one thing you said, I'm at least going to make sure I'm better at this and see the improvement getting ready for now? Well, uh, just uh, being a better teammate and uh, working hard on the defensive end and becoming more consistent and, uh, you know, trying to work harder in practice every day uh, to set the tone for being more consistent come uh, road games and stuff like that. Have you seen some of the efforts paying off already? Yeah, know? I think it's paying off with everybody. Everybody has a great attitude and they're working hard and, you know, it just feels really good to go out there and have, uh, you know, great attitudes and just work as hard as everybody can. Well, Ron, Martell said that um, you don't play like a freshman. Is that something you can tell yourself every time you step on the court? Or do you, um, do you use it as motivation or do you not think about um, your class? Um, I don't think about my class. I think about college, you know. I'm a college athlete. I'm a, I'm, there's, no, there's no class on the court, you know. Is everybody that step on going to play, you know. I, I, I come on. I come here thinking that uh, I'm here with the team. You know, I'm 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 am a team player just like everybody else. You know, just trying to just trying to help this team win. That's all I that's all I worry about. What's been your biggest adjustment? Uh, the speed of the game. You know, it's it's way faster than high school. Um, the players are more stronger. You know, um, help defense are, is a big thing in college basketball. So I just try to adjust to that, you know, work on my um, game and just trying to make, just trying to get better every day with the team. Brian, how often have you talked to Byron since you got here to the water and what do you, you talk about how things are compared from when you played here? Uh, I talk to him probably like, you know, once a week, you know, try to, try to, uh, try to get tips from him, um, advice from him and try to be a better player. Basically, that's what I'm trying to get, you know. And he always tell me about Coach Ford, what Coach Ford can do for me. And uh, what's he gonna do good for me? And uh, how he, how uh, how you want me to help this team? So, just preparing for this season, you know. But Brian, obviously high expectations for you. But what are you expecting of yourself? Um, I'm just expecting to win. You know, I I want to help this team win as many games as we can. You know, I expect me to help this team in a lot of ways. That's the offensive side of the ball and the defensive side, of rebounding, everything I can do to um, to make this team win and try to try to get into the NCAA tournament. How do you guys complement each other? Because in a sense, somebody that doesn't know your games could look and say, well, those guys kind of could play the same position. And so, so when you're on the floor together, how are you guys helping each other out in terms of something you do well versus something you do well? Uh, to me, I think uh, he's one of the best scorers in the country. Every time I see him on the court, we try to get him the ball. Every, every chance we can, and, you know, especially me. I'm, I'm the um, people. I came here as um, people think I just wanted to score the ball, but I think my teammate realized that I can pass as well. And, you know, and every time I see him open, I try to give him the ball because he has a, he, um, he's a, he can shoot, he can drive, he can do whatever it takes to, um, and he's especially good at um, driving to the basket and getting fouled. So we just try to work off each other and play play with each other because that's what it's gonna take. So do you look for him? When Absolutely, <laughs> same thing. Especially, especially on uh, you know fast break transition, you definitely need uh, I let the ball to him and get it to him in, in the half court. You know if he's wide open, and I look to pass. You know, it's, like you said, it's a team thing, and no one person can do it by themselves. You need everybody, and, and with him standing next to me on the court, you got to look for him. Did you have to play defense for Levine? Did you have to play defense? In <laughs> Not as much as I had to do in college, you know, especially, you know, in college, you know, everybody's on, on the same level. And you can't leave nobody open for shots. You no, know, everybody can knock down shots. Back in high school, you probably can leave people open, you know, people weren't that skilled as, as um, my high school was. So, uh, you know, now I got to get prepared for defense and uh, you know, think about defense more than I thought about in high school. Has that been difficult for you to become more fundamentally sound defensively contribute to the team? Not at all. You know, every time um, competition, big competition step up, I always play defense better. You know, try to try to focus on defense because, you know, that's 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 the defense win championship, basically. So I just try to be better on defense and always, you know. And um, Coach Pierre, 
he, he, he helped me the most, you know, because, you know, he's a defensive coach and he just try to, you know, get on me all the time about it. A lot of talk about team chemistry. How's it compared to this year to last year? Uh, last year was uh, a, a few headaches and a few little, um, you know, roadblocks. And, and this year, I feel like, you know, without all that, we we got our mind right. And uh, you know, everybody's hungry this year to get to the tournament. Not only for ourselves, but you know, just for the coaches too. Like you know, we put in the hard work down the off season, and and the only way for it to pay off is to make it to the tournament, NCAA tournament. That is. There's no other option for our team. Who initiated that? Who got that started chemistry-wise? It just built, like, you know, over the summer, like, everybody kind of, everybody got really close. Like, we started just really hanging out a lot together. The chemistry in the locker room was really good. We like each other on the court. And, and, you know, we talk about everything. You know, nobody, you know, offends anybody really like that. So, you know, it's just a good vibe on the team. And this is, you know, this is, like, the foundation and the core recipe you need to, you know, get yourself to the NCAA tournament and go deep. Did you all go to a, uh, a team building thing on your own a few weeks ago? Did I hear that right? That you all went over to Tulsa to, to, oh, to, to yeah, do something as a team? Uh, what, tell us about that if you don't mind. Uh, it was like this, uh, this Halloween thing. It was really cool. I had a good time. Uh, we all drove out there, and, and uh, it was fun. It was a good experience. You know, you got a chance to, to see some things and reflect on how, you know, certain choices can affect your life. And uh, I think it opened up everybody's eyes, and, you know, everybody brought us a little closer. Why will this team be better on the road? More determination and the will to, to win is uh, is higher than ever right now. So Brian, has there been a big adjustment for you in time management? Uh, yeah, you know, um, my co uh, Coach Ford wanted me to adjust real quick because, um, you know, the games, the, the first game going to be next week, so he wanted me to start right now, you know, adjusting to college right now. so. You know, I try to, you know, try to every every advice any any one of these guys give me, I try to accept it and take it and run with it. And, you know, and just trying to just trying to build build a foundation with these young guys and just get to know all my teammates and their personnel and what to do with them and what not to do with them. Have you bought into eating well and sleeping well and studying and practicing well? Um, yes, sir. Especially um, eating. You know. And most of the time we be practicing in class, so you gotta find the uh, right stuff to eat so you can, you know, prepare for the uh, the long practices and stuff. So, you know, just trying to get better. You no, know, that's why I have Snake. I mean, uh, Jake for a strength and conditioning coach. So that's why I have him for. I ask him what I need to eat so I can keep my weight the same and not and, not, and be prepared. Speaking of Jake, I wanted to ask you two questions. One, the significance of the. Dude, I can read. I'm a Dallas guy. <laughs> I kind of like to see the, the, the pride in South Dallas. I know there's a lot of pride out there. And also the fact that because of Jay, I can probably read them better than I've ever been able to read. <laughs> yeah. Stand out a little more. yeah, when I came here, when I came here in June, uh, I was 215. You know, but um, when preseason started, you know, went right about now I'm about 230 now. So, you know, I gained a lot of weight uh, off muscles and lost a lot of fat. So, you know. Um, I, I I give uh, Snake that credit for um, what he put me through the off season. Uh, he did a great job with me. You know, I ain't, I ain't used to lift weights in high school. I can tell you that now. I never lifted weights in high school till my freshman year in football. So um, I I give him credit for that. He he worked me hard um, in the off season. Um, and the tattoos, you know, I, I really like tattoos. So I like to explain myself on, on, with my body. You know, uh, especially on where I'm from. And never forget. So when I look, when I look at my arms, I know, I know where I'm from, and uh, just try to just try to um, do it with pride and uh, live with, with pride. Snake doesn't usually get talked about in glowing terms by you guys, does he? <laughs> <laughs> no doubt.